We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. May God be merciful to us and bless us. Show us the light of his countenance and come to us. Let your ways be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let all the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The first reading, the first word from the cross. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they're doing. Matthew 6, 9 through 14. Pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the food we need and forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. And don't lead us, let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. If you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you refuse to forgive others, your Father will not forgive your sins. Jesus replied, I assure you, today you will be with me in paradise. 
John 3, 13 to 18, no one has ever gone to heaven and returned, but the Son of Man has come down from heaven. And as Moses lifted up the bronze snake on a pole in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him will have eternal life. For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God sent his Son into the world not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. There is no judgment against anyone who believes in him, but anyone who does not believe in him has already been judged for not believing in God's one and only Son.
the third word from the cross. When Jesus saw his mother standing there beside the disciple he loved, he said to hear her, Dear woman, here is your son. A reading from Luke 19, 25 through 35. At that time there was a man in Jerusalem named Simeon. He was righteous and devout and was eagerly waiting for the Messiah to come and rescue Israel. The Holy Spirit was upon him and had revealed to him that he would not die until he had seen the Lord's Messiah. That day the Spirit led him to the temple. So when Mary and Joseph came to present the baby Jesus to the Lord as the law required, Simeon was there. He took the child in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, now let your servant die in peace. As you have promised, I have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for all people. He is a light to reveal God to the nations, and he is the glory of your people Israel. Jesus' parents were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them, and he said to Mary, the baby's mother, this child is destined to cause many in Israel to fall and many others to rise. He has been sent as a sign from God, but many will oppose him. As a result, the deepest thoughts of many hearts will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your very soul.
the fourth word. At about three o'clock, Jesus called out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Why are you so far away when I groan for help? Every day I call to you, my God, but you do not answer. Every night I lift my voice, but I find no relief. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. Our ancestors trusted in you and you rescued them. They cried out to you and were saved. They trusted in you and were never disgraced. But I am a worm and not a man. I am scorned and despised by all. Everyone who sees me mocks me. They sneer and shake their heads, saying, Is this the one who relies on the Lord? Then let the Lord save him. If the Lord loves him so much, let the Lord rescue him. The fifth word from the cross. Jesus knew that his mission was now finished. And to fulfill scripture, he said, I am thirsty. A reading from Psalm 69, 19 through 21. You know of my shame, scorn, and disgrace. You see all that my enemies are doing. Their insults have broken my heart, and I am one in despair. I am only one person would show, if only one person would show some pity, if only one would turn and comfort me. But instead they give me poison for food. They offer me sour wine for my thirst.
The sixth word from the cross. When Jesus had tasted it, he said, it is finished. A reading. Who has believed our message? To whom has the Lord revealed his powerful arm? My servant grew up in the Lord's presence like a tender green shoot, like a root in dry ground. There was nothing beautiful or majestic about his appearance, nothing to attract us to him. He was despised and rejected, a man of sorrows, acquainted with the deepest grief. We turned our backs on him and looked the other way. He was despised and we did not care. Yet it was our weakness he carried. It was our sorrows that weighed him down. And we thought his troubles were a punishment from God, a punishment for his own sins. But he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. All of us, like sheep, have strayed away. We have left God's paths to follow our own. Yet the Lord laid on him the sins of us all. He was oppressed and treated harshly. Yet he never said a word. He was like a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep is silent before the shears, he did not open his mouth. Unjustly condemned, he was led away. No one cared that he died without descendants, that his life was cut short in midstream. But he was struck down for the rebellion of my people. He had done no wrong and had never deceived anyone. But he was buried like a criminal. He was put in a rich man's grave. But it was the Lord's good plan to crush him and cause him grief. Yet when his life is made an offering for sin, he will have many descendants. He will enjoy a long life and the Lord's good plan will prosper in his hands. When he sees all that is accomplished by his anguish, he will be satisfied. And because of his experience, my righteous servant will make it possible for many to be counted righteous, for he will bear all their sins. I will give him the honors of a victorious soldier, because he exposed himself to death. He was counted among the rebels. He bore the sins of many and interceded for the rebels. Let us pray. O God of unchangeable power and eternal light, look favorably on your whole church that wonder and and sacred mystery by the effectual working of your providence carry out in tranquility the plan of salvation let the whole world see and know that things which were cast down are being raised up and things which had grown old are being made new and that all things are being brought to their perfection by him through whom all things were made your son Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Let us pray now together the prayer our Lord Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this, this day our, our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
the seventh word. Then Jesus shouted, Father, I entrust my spirit into your hands. And with those words, he breathed his last. 